but what's cool about director, you know, as a board artist, you get a chance, you, you try and sneak in stuff. Like, like that's a big thing. I know you guys talked to uh, Amanda was our, our BG painters. Yeah. She doesn't quite get the same amount of like leeway, but as a board artist, you can really try and sneak stuff in. But as a director, you get an even better chance to try and like noodle, you know, you get more because like, because now I can get it, you know, the board team turns everything in and we're starting to go into animatic and I'm like, oh, maybe if I put this in, like I can get away with that. And like, it, it, everyone is always trying to put their little Easter eggs in or, or, or push their agenda for characters as best they can within the confine. But I think what's fun about being a director is you get to sort of like, not only are you wrangling all the material and all the feedback, but you kind of get to push your, you know, you get a chance to kind of pitch stuff at a higher level than you would as a, as a board artist. And in the the next phases, you know, cause an episode goes through many reviews. So you get a lot of chances to be like, all right, well, they didn't, it didn't get in that time. It's like, maybe <laughs> over here, I can get this little bit in there. Um, so, but like, I, I always try and get a little something in no matter what. Um, one of my first contributions to the lower decks canon was on Jeremy, the, uh, the sex post of, of Dr. Tiana's. Hmm. And I thought, I was like, okay, what can we do? Like they had an idea of what they wanted it to look like. And I was like, oh, I think I should have the cat paws like tweaking a little. Because <laughs> 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 I was like, this is a sex post. I was like, that was my first contribution to lower decks. <laughs> you know, that's, you brought something up that I hadn't really considered, but do you guys actually get no's when it comes to Easter eggs? Uh, when you say, what about, I want to add this or I want to add that. And the higher ups might sometimes say no. If they do say no on occasion, what is usually the reasoning? Is it usually because they have a plan for something later or because it doesn't really fit the, the mood or what? Yeah, it's you. Well, it's usually there's a plan for something, right? It's like if I'm trying to get something or it's like the, like, oh, it's not the right time for this one or save that one. Or it, there's a whole negotiation that, I mean, the whole, um, it's funny that you guys go through and like, you're trying to find all this stuff. Cause I'm like, it, it is a big conversation on our end of mm. like, what can we get away with and like what, you know, works. And there's all sorts of, I don't always know the reason. Sometimes it's just like, oh, let's not do that this time. It's like, okay, all right. But I'll try and get it in there somewhere else, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> um, but if that's one of the really fun things about working on lower decks. Uh, it's like trying to sneak those those little things in. Um, at the same time, though, I actually really like, I love actually what Lower Decks is bringing to Star Trek on its own. Like, I think the Cerritos is a great addition to like the canons of ships, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an amazing design. And I think our characters, you know, the main Lower Deckers bring a lot to Star Trek. And so as fun as it is to do all the little stuff and like every time you're like always looking for a little opportunity to be like oh can we mention this character or this character and like um but i actually really love like what lower decks brings to star trek and i'm ready for like in the future when they start you know another show starts referencing us like that'll be uh the the most exciting day for mm -hmm. me 